Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to Virtutai's channel. Okay, in front of you, uh, basically Evo Galore, Evo 6 specifically. Um, can you tell there's two cars uh, in here that kind of don't belong? So, uh, what I have in front of me actually is Hobby Japan. I do have one Tommy car in there. I'll uh, we'll do a little bit of comparison later. And then I do have one uh, Evo 5 in there as well. Um, again for comparison but uh basically i believe it's complete hobby japan's evo 6 evo 6 tommy mckinnon and uh evo 6 tommy mckinnon with special packaging all right so hobby japan has made how many how many evo 6 uh 10 how many if you can count okay we'll go through them one by one uh before that right uh you would have noticed i have already removed all of them out of the box uh, that is usually whenever there's any new arrival, right? I will do live unboxing over on Facebook, Collectors Cube, that's Q-U-B-E, do look us up there. Uh, have to hit the like button because that will help me out in the YouTube algorithms as well. Okay, so what we have here, right? Uh, how do we go about this? Basically, Hobby Japan has been making uh, Evo 3, 4, 5, and 6. I don't think there's any 7 uh, to 10 yet. I don't think so <laughs> uh, right at this uh, recording um, they could be on pre-order because my Hobby Japan supplies has not been really stable so that's why I do get some and some I don't get right so but then again I'm really excited to get these uh, Evo 6 and I was looking forward to show it to you guys as well so um, how many colors four colors of the Evo 6 okay uh, the white the Scotia white the I believe these are actually the colors that roll out from the factory as well. Scotia white, Karna, it's called Karna blue, uh, Pyrenees black, and satellite silver. Okay, so there is a couple of differences, even though they're all Evo 6s, but uh, there are a couple of differences here and there. Okay, so overall build of the the Hobby Japan um, scale models right in 64, actually it is quite nice actually that's why i i call <laughs> i'm crazy enough to collect all of the colors uh i was actually initially i was thinking you know maybe hobby japan coming out all the colors i'll just pick and choose but uh yeah i just went crazy enough to just collect all of them okay so yeah look at all the shapes the fog lamp in front the headlamps now this is a little bit rough though where the the body meets let me just zoom in so we can focus right where the body meets the okay let me move a little bit closer for you guys as well where the body meets the the the, the, the separate part the headlamps and the indicator lights okay so that's a little bit rough there but i do quite like you know you can still see see this is a grill and then we can actually see the intercooler in there that's actually very nice this is actually where all the hot air will come out okay the outlet that detail is done very nicely as well you can see the texture the shape of the grill okay and then there's a little bit of intake here as well i do quite like they have detailed it in black a little bit like that all right i do quite like they do they really did pull off the fog lamps very nicely i don't see much uh qc issues you know um because it's a separate piece because most of the time probably a lot of manufacturings will probably skip doing a separate piece and actually, you know, go for just a, a, a print like like this. Okay, just print it there. <laughs> but Hobby Japan went all the way to to actually install a separate piece of plastic there to make it much more realistic, which I really like. So the white is pretty much flat. Uh, there's a little bit of detail on the skirting here, the shape. Okay, on the evil body kit. All right, so these. These are actually based on a very famous uh, chassis number CP9A, which uh, Evo 5 is actually also on, on the same uh, chassis. Okay, so that's why uh, this Evo 4, basically, Evo 4 is a separate uh, chassis, it's a CE, I believe. Um, and uh, from Evo 5 onwards, it was CP. And then, um, uh, I, if I recall correctly, right, the major upgrade from 5 to 6, right, was actually the fog lamp um, being moved to the side. You, the, the biggest, the one of the very, very iconic thing about the Evo, right, was that, you know, out of the factory, you get, you get a huge fog lamp in front, right? So, um, from 5 to 6, uh, they move it to the side, mainly to improve the airflow, okay, into the engine. All right, so we go to the side, different set of rims. Um, this one has an Evo 5 
writing on the side okay all right mitsubishi logo at the back so my understanding right is uh, these evos right actually they do come in two level of uh, uh, two trims okay which is the rs and also the gsr so these hobby japan ones right they're actually based on the gsr um it's stated on the packaging as well all right so uh, you see the evo 5 it's still a very flat interior everything in black i believe it's similar to to the real car right so actually if we go through a little bit more right at the back okay we can see the tail lights are being a little bit different there's more details that go all the way to the boot okay i'm not sure oh okay maybe oh, i call out wrong i cannot recall now if this one does this open here or together with the plates <laughs> okay that's something i missed out I, I i didn't notice if you do know please do let me know in the comment section below okay so that's i'm wondering will this part right the extension of the tail lights will it actually lift up together with the boot lid or the boot lid actually goes only until the where the logo is uh, okay all right then uh what else the muffler does look similar the lower part of the back bumper the skirt looks a little bit different okay the side skirt looks a little bit similar from here okay side mirror wise they look very similar as well the hood details are similar as well okay and i've covered the front bumper so that's the evo 5 um evo 5 versus the evo 6 right okay so now the evo 6 has has a little bit more detail to uh interior detail you can see the two-tone um two-tone seats inside right so i believe this is actually the ricaro seats uh that came from the factory um from the evo 6 uh 6.5 which is the tommy mckinnon edition and then and then the um if i'm going to zoom out a little bit more the special hobby japan calls it the special color uh version so from what i understand right uh the tommy mckinnon version um that special color the passion red okay this passion red only appears in the tommy mckinnon edition okay because tommy mckinnon was winning the uh wrc series in the evo 3 4 5 and 6 um, since 96, 97, 98 and 99 four years consecutively so you know to to honor him um, the special uh, this special edition was made from uh, from Mitsubishi so from the six uh, from the 6.0 moving on to let me just do that can I do the, the, the silver can I I'll just do the silver so for mo moving from the Evo 6 right to what we all know as the 6.5 the Tommy McKinnon version right um, the most obvious difference would be the front bumper all right so they removed the fog lamp entirely all right then it all becomes a proper intake with more uh to, to be able to feed more air into the engine that was one of the biggest difference um and then the tommy mckinnon edition well tommy mckinnon edition can be in all their standard colors basically white silver blue uh black four colors and then actually these decals right the tommy mckinnon decals these are actually optional um so that's why we we will be able to see um the the tommy mckinnon edition in white that i have over here okay and then it came in the blue as well and um yep it's available in silver as well but but if it's red the passion red okay this is available only for the tommy mckinnon version okay so this uh passion red does not appear in um the regular evo 6 all right so i've uh if you look up if you look up for evo 6.5 right there is quite a couple of uh, restoration videos uh that, that is available there are a couple of companies that, that have actually done proper restoration of the evo uh, 6.5 because how many of these i think four thousand um if i read it right yeah f roughly about four thousand units of the tommy mckinnon version was made um not many survived because quite a lot of them were actually used to go in uh, rally so not many of them survived so and those that survive um, a lot of their paint is faded the interior is faded uh, because these are uh, they weren't they weren't exactly collecting it at that time i guess maybe because it's four thousand units you know so i don't think people were actually really collecting them um, they really use it as a daily or or even or even to race it 
Okay, so uh, when we go to the back, right, something I noticed, I'll just very quickly point out to you guys, the extension of the tail lights. So that happened in the TME version as well. Let me see. Yeah. So this one, I think... So what I have here, right, on my right hand, um, this would be the blue version. It's also the Tommy Mekinen edition, but uh, see, it's different where the tail lights are extended. So I believe this is also something that's optional for uh, the Tommy Mekinen package. Okay, but uh, I think one of the thing that uh, that is most obvious, right? Uh, another thing that that, that is most most obvious about the Tommy Mekinen edition is that seats okay i really like how hobby japan has actually pulled off that detail as well look at the look at the two bucket seats in there right the red color bucket seats those if in the middle um from where i am i think yeah you can see it already right from from where 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 the camera stands right it actually is embossed uh tommy mckinnon edition so that is something specific to the tommy mckinnon um uh edition of the evo 6 Nice, nice. Now, uh, another difference between this, uh, the Tommy Mackinnon with the regular Evo 6 is the turbine. The turbo turbine um, the for the 6.5 is actually, uh, they were using the titanium turbine, which actually spools up the turbo much, much faster. Okay, and what else? What else? What other difference? I think that, that's the tree. That's the tree. That's the four, I think, the difference that I just mentioned to you guys, right? So rally art sticker on the front bumper as well, same as the real deal, the real car um, from the factory. Um, Mitsubishi logo at the back here, this uh, Tommy McKinnon um, uh, rally car inspired sticker from the back all the way to the front. Okay, that's actually optional. All right, rally art stickers on the back bumper. Nice, so that's the red. And then it came in the black. Basically the details are the same. Okay. Uh, I. That's the thing, you know, the black looks okay, the colors all look quite boring, you know, it's just flat, yeah, it's just really flat, this is a flat black, the red, I just got a feeling, right, Um, this is not, probably this is not the real passion red that is on a real car, Um, it does look a little bit flat, it doesn't really stand out Um, from the videos, I've not seen one in person um, from the restoration video right it the, the red does look like it's gonna pop up um, but not on this hobby japan model still overall shape of the the car right the casting i think it's it's quite on point um yes the other part <laughs> i just recall nk rims okay nk rims so the the regular evo 6 did not have the mk rims okay the tommy mckinnon edition did get the nk rims Okay, and actually, wow, there there are quite a few that still exist today, right? All of them are heavily modified. Um, we have I've seen a couple of them in Malaysia as well, and most and and, and most of them are all fully modified already. In. Okay, so this is the black, and then the white. Of course, the black is uh, the red is most iconic. I think the white is the the next um, I, I, the color the next best color. I think, in my personal opinion, okay, because it makes the it does make the decal and the details of the body stand out much more. Okay, that's a very, very iconic back. Evo 6 logo here. Uh, there's a little bit of writing in silver. I can't really see what it is. Okay, what else? What else can I tell you? So this is the white TME version. It has it has the that, that, that special edition bucket seats, the blue. Uh, Karna blue, okay, this is called Karna blue, the Scotia white, okay, Scotia white, and then the silver, satellite silver, okay, there we go, there we go, so the silver would be uh, Tomica limited vintage, right, I, from what I know, two shade of, uh, two shade of blues, and one silver so the silver does look very different from hobby japan's silver so i'm not sure entirely sure which one is it uh the blue interior as well they use different shade of blue the the tlvn version is much more purplish than blue uh 
the one in the Hobby Japan, it's a lighter shade of blue. Okay, so the bumper details, you see the front bumper details, right? It's much more obvious. Price point because they are very close to each other. So let's see, right? Let's see. Let's compare the front uh, bumper. Um, the Hobby Japan version does stand out a little bit more. Okay, now we go to the front. The Mitsubishi logo is much more obvious uh, on the Hobby Japan. Okay, uh, Evo Six Evolution Six logo on the number plate detail. We can see, we can see a little bit reflective the the radiator, the the intercooler in, inside right behind the grill, um, but nothing on the TLVN. Um, the fog lamps does look bigger on the TLVN, smaller on the Hobby Japan. And then we go to the hood right, uh, the 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 that that grill detail, TLVN has it bigger. Um, However, this intake here, I do quite like the Hobby Japan actually uh, went and um, blackened part of it, okay, which TLVN skipped it, okay, if we go to the side, not much uh, difference, the door handle looks like a little bit more obvious on, a, on the Hobby Japan version, rims very close to, to each other, the indicator light detail is there, not much, uh, not much to compare. The wing does look bigger and chunkier on Hobby Japan. Okay, the Mitsubishi logo does look a little bit nicer on the uh, TLVN. Right, the muffler is bigger this side on uh, Hobby Japan as well. The tail lights, I think both are very, very similar. The keyhole detail is done as well. Again, this is a blank. Um, plate which you can install another plate on it this one has the Evo 6 plate on it Lancer detail down there Evolution detail branding on top so that's very similar now the thing is that TLVN ones you know for sure right hang on let me just zoom out a little bit for the the TL versions you know for sure yep they can roll okay but uh, the Hobby Japan version Let's try it out. I forgot to actually. Oh, okay. Uh, it's it's a little bit stuck, but uh, you can say that it rolls, but uh, definitely not as fast, not as smooth as the TLVN ones. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't say it's effortless. See how it goes really when I try to reverse it, right? So it's a little bit stuck to the body. Okay. So yeah. Um, but right now, me personally, I'm having some issues with the TLVN paint, so I do get some of them going uh, blistering on me, so I, I'm, I'm actually getting more of those silicon gel packs to actually put it together inside the TLVN. Hobby Japan, so far, I don't see that problem happening, or I don't hear people complaining about it yet. So, mm, we shall see. We shall see. Alright, so... Uh, one thing I noticed is that the, the, the four colors, right? Um, the blue, black, silver, and white for the Tommy McKinnon normal packaging um, from Hobby Japan, right? It did not have the black, which I find it a bit strange. So I'll just do a quick run through of the, the official names, right? Official names from uh, Hobby Japan of what they released, okay? Just hang on, uh, hang on a little bit. So this one will be for the red, okay? The TME red. Okay, Passion Red, Mitsubishi Lancer GSR Evolution 6. So GSR is the higher, highest trim. Um, uh, at the start of the video, I mentioned as RS and then as GSR, right? So GSR is actually the higher trim. Okay, and then, um, so this one has TME. So the, the normal the normal others uh, that does not have the, the sticker, right, the decal, right? Uh, I'll show you in a short while. So this one's special coloring package will have that decal. Okay, we'll have that decal that I'll show you how these ones you will be for this. Okay, so that's a passion red, the Scotia white, and the uh, Pyrenees black. Okay, I'll just show you the spelling for Pyrenees black. Okay, special coloring package. Then for Evo 6, right? Um, hang on, where's the Tommy McKinnon version? Uh, okay, so this would be Karna blue. Now you see how it's called GSR Evolution 6. TME without that special coloring package, right? 
special color package and then let me show you one that's the regular um hang on this is evo 5 ah okay it's a different blue it's a different supposedly a different blue yes it is quite it is actually a different blue each cell blue okay this is for the normal evo 6 the non tme edition so it's a different shade of blue um in my left hand i have the normal evo 6 the regular evo 6 and in my right hand would be the 6.5 so yeah darker more yeah it's a darker shade of blue for the evo 6 lighter shade of blue for 6.5 okay it's a different blue uh, but I believe the silver and the silver black and um, white would be the same. Scotia white, uh, satellite silver, and Pyrenees uh, black. All right. So, quick shout out to uh, <laughs> for those of you guys who are interested, to look for figures. Right. Uh, you can look up Cube. Okay, over on Facebook. Uh, you can place your order through them. They do have um ready stock figures right uh quite a wide range of figures so you can check with them and um so do 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 look us up on facebook okay collector scoop that's qbe uh remember hit the like button uh and hit the subscribe button hit the bell as well so that I don't miss on any of my other diecast videos so thank you so much for watching guys take care bye